welcome to my channel. Today it's all about the hair. I'm going to share with you some easy but very important tips on how to grow long and healthy hair. So if you're interested then keep watching. First things first, of course clean hair is desired, but washing your hair too often can strip it of the oils that keep it healthy, which will make them more brittle and prone to breaking. To prevent that, Cut the numbers of times you shampoo your hair to two, three times a week at most. When choosing a shampoo, choose wisely. Silicone in shampoo coats your strands of hair and blocks out nutrients. So spend a little more on a shampoo without silicone. Do not forget to condition your hair every time. It helps to prevent more damage from happening so that you can get your hair to grow longer and look healthier. When conditioning or applying a mask, give your scalp a nice massage as that will encourage hair growth. Next important tip is to always protect your hair. Do not rub your hair with towel when you are drying it after a shower or bath. Instead, just press or pat. Try to avoid heat blow drying or any hot styling, but if you do use hot tools, don't forget to protect it with oils and spray. Using a hairdryer at the right distance and temperature can actually cause less damage than letting the hair air dry, so keep your dryer on the warm or coolest setting and keep it about 6 inches away from the hair at all times. In summer, don't forget to protect your hair from UV lights. You can do it with hats, scarves, oils or sprays. Before you start trying to grow out your long locks, make sure your hair is healthy and not damaged. Hair growth starts at the roots, but hair damage is concentrated near the tips. So take half of inch or an inch every two, three months. Brushing your hair is another important step. It helps to distribute the oils and keep your hair soft and healthy. Try to use a natural bristle brush to comb your hair one, two times a day. Always start at the end and make your way up. Also, try to avoid brushing your hair when it's wet as they were more likely to break while brushing. So next is diet and supplements. Your body requires many nutrients to create new hair. So take a look at your diet. Because while eating a balanced diet definitely helps, you may not be getting the proper amount of all the nutrients that needed to create healthy hair that can grow super long. So try using biotin. This supplement greatly increases the growth of proteins in your hair and nails. You can purchase biotin supplements in healthy food stores or pharmacies. Different nuts and nut butters are very high in biotin, so that could be a very good thing to eat as well. Also take multivitamins or try taking vitamin A, B2 and E, which all benefit the hair growth. Another good tip is to apply an oil or mask treatment weekly. You can heat up jojoba, coconut or olive oil and when it's warm to the touch, massage it into your scalp. The heat and pressure from the oil and your massage will increase the production of hair from the roots. So let the oil sit in your hair for at least 15 minutes before rinsing it out or if you can braid it and leave it overnight, it will have even better results. Massage in general enhances blood circulation in the head and neck area, so that helps strengthen the roots of the hair and nourish the hair shaft. Last but not least is to let your hair down. Constant use of elastic bands, pins and clips stresses out your hair, making it prone to breaking. So when you can, let your hair loose and leave it unpinned. And if you can for the night, then braid your hair so it doesn't break. So that was actually it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining me in. I hope the tips were useful for you and you also learned some things today. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I will see you soon.